next one. Very good one. Okay. I can't wait to see you later. Hi, how are you? All right. How are you? Pretty good. What are you doing? I don't answer questions. So you're over on the other side taking a video of the of the gas station. I don't answer questions. I wasn't asking you a question. I wasn't asking you a question. I was oh, okay. stating what I what I observed. Can I get your name and badge number? Right here. Right here. How do you pronounce that? You can, can you read? I mean, I could I try to slaughter that. I don't answer any of your questions. Is that Billy? Any way you want to pronounce it. You got a badge number? Right here. It's right here. Uh huh? Are you taking a photo of me? I'm videotaping you. Oh, good. I like to know that so I can get that photo in the video later. You're more than welcome to. I'm gonna foil it. You can't do that. It's yeah, I can. Public. You're a public servant on public time. Then you pull that out. That's public records. If you erase it, that's a crime. Yeah, if you say so. What, why are you videotaping the, the convenience store over there? I wasn't videotaping the convenience store. I, I saw you videotaping the convenience store. That's a negative. So that's a. That is an interest in public safety, which is why I'm talking to you. Nope. No video of the convenience store. What's that? I did not video record the convenience store. So I was sitting over there and I saw you videotaping. So I was videotaping I you. What are you videotaping me for? Just working on a story, gathering some content for us. What's yeah. that? Just gathering some content for a story oh, I'm working oh, on. Awesome. What story is that? I don't answer questions, I can't uh, divulge that information. Can I buy you a cup of coffee? Um, no thanks, no. I don't actually drink coffee. So I do, with the trucks going by, I can't hear them. I don't drink coffee. Would you like to go for a ride along in the police car? Can we do that? Yeah, sure we can. You gotta get a approval or we could just jump in the car right now? Well, for insurance purposes, you'd have to fill out a form and then... Uh, uh, I, don't, I, don't wanna do, I don't wanna do that. I just, I, I mean, if we could jump in the car and do a, a ride along, that'd be pretty sweet. Yeah, I'd be more than happy to do that. We have to fill out paperwork and... Well, yeah, I mean, you can understand just for insurance purposes, you'd have to do that, you know. You just can't put anybody in the car without signing a waiver. Sure. Hey guys, how are you? Wonderful. How you doing? Yeah, good. Oh, good, good. Hi, how are you? Good, good. Hey, you see little Jack Russell Oh, yeah, you know what? Yeah, he decided to log. 800 years old. I'm not gonna lie, this guy seems like a pretty decent guy. It looked like he gave that last guy a break. Let's see how he ends up there. Yeah. No, I don't have any questions at all. I'll be more than, help, more than happy to help you out. No, you seem like a pretty nice guy. I mean, look like, look like you might have even gave that last guy a break. I did. Maybe you pulled over. I've seen that. It's pretty cool. I treat people the way you treat me. You know, and my goal out here is for the greater interest of public safety. So. Yeah, it looked like you helped, tried came, to help that guy with the dog. Missing he, dog. He came down at well over 55 miles an hour. That guy? He's not from the area, he didn't really know, he's just kind of... This area has a reputation for pulling over a lot of people, giving them a lot of tickets, but that was the first time I I, I could say it differently. I, I, I seen um, and uh, observed it and I recorded it. Well, you know, the thing of it is, it's like, what's your motivation? Like, what's the motive? not you, what's the motivation of a cop? The most important quality of a good police officer to be a compassionate person first, number one. Number two, and understand that you're a public servant. So when you, when you're rooted by passion and you're motivated by compassion for people just because you want to help a human being then you don't always make an arrest you don't always write a ticket because it's not 
the greater good of the big picture, right? So if you have, let's just say you're speeding, you come over here, and I stop, and you and I have a really negative interaction, and I write you a ticket, that's going to justify your anger to it. Is it really going to slow you down? Like, think about it, really. Is it going to slow you down? No, probably not. Probably not. But if you, ha you and I have a really positive interaction, and I give you some information, like, we've had an increased number of car accidents. I was on one today, you know, and we're just, we're hitting this road really hard, trying to slow everybody down so we don't see anybody get hurt. And I let you go. Which one of those is more likely to slow you down so you don't get hurt? The second one, right? Of course, yeah. It was, that's because I'm, the motivation is compassion. The motivation is not ticket. The motivation is an arrest. You know, um, whether I'm writing a parking ticket or I'm sitting in some little old lady's house making her a cup of tea because she just had a some you know a death in the family, or I'm chasing an armed robbery suspect. You know, everything you do has to be motivated and compassion. That's the most important thing about police officer. I love to talk to people about it. I love to talk to the community. I love to talk to kids. I love to, love to talk to guys like you. I don't know what your angle is. I don't know if you're you're creating a story for the greater good of the community or for a school project. I have no idea. I imagine it's just anything like that. There's good police officers, there's bad police officers, good mechanics, bad mechanics, and any well, career. There's no room for bad police officers. Of course not. You know. So is there room for bad no, mechanics? No. Most dangerous. The well, most dangerous thing for a police officer is a bad police officer, of course. Well, I mean, there's when you have a bad mechanic, what happens? Well, the car breaks down. Or somebody can get seriously hurt. You know, but I mean, you know, you have a, a bad police officer, it, it can affect somebody's life forever. You know, and when you're compassionate about human beings and you're compassionate about just you as a person, you, you, you really have to have that deep in your soul to really have a love for the for humans. You know, and uh, that's what it's all about. Oh, did they get the Oh, they didn't get their dog. Let me just go help them get their dog real quick. Yeah. That's not the part. Right here. Oh, we have the owner. Well, Erie County fan, this is Corfu, New York. And as far as uh, finding a good police officer and a pretty decent look sounding guy, I did see him give a break to a guy over here. And he seems to be willing to talk, and he's not totally tyrannical. Uh, let's see how this interaction ends here. We'll get these dogs reunited, and we'll have a finish of the talk with this guy, see if we'll... ID properly. That's funny. I know when my uh, when my dog took off, my little kids, you know, they cried for days and days and days. I've actually never owned a dog. I've owned a cat. Oh yeah. That's about it. I know. I have four cats. Yeah. Four cats. A couple bunnies. Couple dogs. How long have you been a police officer? 17 years. 17 years? You always been with Corfu? No, no, no. no. You mind saying where you came from before? Or? Yeah, a bigger city. Bigger city? Yeah. Move out this way to get away from some of the crazy or? What's that? Move out this way to get rid of some of the crazy? You know, it's not so. I love the crazy. Or for the kids? I, lo I love the crazy. Um, some. When you're out with the family. There are some people, no matter what, they just hate the police. You know, no, no matter what. Some of it's legitimate. Some of them had really bad experiences. Um, some of it's not legitimate. I've seen some raw footage. You know, I, I'm sure. You know, but, I mean, I, I have a lot of experiences with, with people, and I would have to say, I mean, I've known cops all over the country, all over the world. I met police officers from Ireland, Thailand, um, Italy. You know, Canada, Russia, all over the place, Turkey, um, and I've been in, I've been in, in police conferences all over the United States. So I've met thousands of cops, and by by and large, police officers, by and large, are really decent human beings. They really care about people. There are bullies out there. There are. Hi, there are bullies out there. there. There are guys that abuse their power. You know, there are guys that... Um, Power's you know, a crazy thing. It can go to somebody's head real quick. What's that? Power's a crazy thing. Sometimes it can go to someone's head pretty Especially quick. Especially when you've been bullied your whole life. If you've been bullied around, 
you know, and now you have a badge and a gun and it makes you think you're a tough guy. You know, the day I graduated the police academy, my father said to me, if that badge and that gun changes you as a person, you have no business putting it on. You know, um, the, the badge doesn't make you, your heart makes you. Your badge allows you the resources and the authority to help people. You know, and that's that's my motto. And doesn't believe it or not, I know it doesn't seem like that today, but there's a lot of cops that really, really look out for for, for human beings. No, I'm sure there's some that um, just have a bad day, run into the wrong person well, on the wrong bad day. Here's the other thing, right? So, um, to protect the guys where I used to work, I, I, I don't want really, I really don't want to divulge into, to where I used to work. But um, there's a group of people like to follow, listen to the police scanner and they follow them. They get out, they have nothing to do with the call. They get out and they just antagonize them, ramp out of these cops, trying to get away. So it's like day, day, call, after call. These guys are handling 17, 20, 25, 30 calls in an eight hour shift, 10 hour shift. They just come there and heckle? That's it. They, just, they have a police scanner and they just listen to the police call and they go. Right? They video record this or they just go there and uh, no, heckle? They, well, they record and then they edit and splice the cops' reaction. You know? Um, so, but they're screaming at the cops, they're cussing at them, they're calling them all kinds of names, they're spitting at them all day long, every day. A police officer goes home and he's got bills to pay. He's got family troubles he's got to deal with. So, the family trouble is like, well, this is the only trouble of the family for that day. For the police officer, this is like the 30th, right? Things are compounding. They, the next day, the next day, and it keeps going and building up and building up. So then at the end of a day, somebody comes up and they're just, they're not listening. Um, they're, people call 911 because there's a disturbance in the street. The police show up and they're trying to quell the disturbance. They're trying to stop from public property from being damaged. They're trying to stop from people from being injured. Sometimes a police officer has to say the only thing that's gonna grab somebody's attention in that moment if you're gonna be acting like a big boy, then sometimes you gotta use big boy words. You know, they're not professionally sounding words sometimes. You know, they're sometimes cuss words. And it comes out in a level of frustration of a police officer. But what does the public see? The public sees the police officer in that single isolated moment saying a bad word, using the F word, looking at somebody. You know, they've had enough, they grab somebody. I've had enough, get over there, get against the wall, do what I tell you to do. You can see that this is the police officer's like, you know, 30th time he's dealt with somebody who's been in his face, who's been non-compliant, and he's been, you know, 29 other times quelled the situation verbally. Just this one time where somebody's in his, somebody's in his face. That's what makes it all, you know, and then the cops are getting jammed up. It's a lot of stress on police officers. Yesterday, I was sitting here, I like to walk around a lot, shake people's hands, get to know people, talk to people. Everybody, you hate the police, not, not you. Somebody hates the police, um, I'll talk to you, I'll be your best friend. Let's get to know each other, let's, just, let's, let's open up communication. So I'm sitting here and I'm just walking. I like to walk through all the neighborhoods. He comes by and chucks a, uh, a milkshake at me out the window. As you were in uniform or no, as police? It was yesterday. It was, well, not yesterday. Did you get him? Oh, I'm going to chase after the car, run after it. Well, I mean, you're going to be too far from the squad car, huh? No, well, my car was on the other side of the next street over on Water Street, which is if you go up here, you make a left. It's that first street over there. I parked over there because I was just meandering. And I came up that Did far he hit you or no? There. No, I didn't hit uh, me. I've been riding a bicycle and had a milkshake chucked at me just really? randomly. You know, I was just on a bike, somebody in a car going by. But that's pretty ballsy I, I, to do to a police officer. I've, um, I've been shot at, I've been stabbed, you know. Um, I, I was I was held down when I was a kid, and they, they grabbed my dog, and they held my dog down and stabbed him in the head and pissed in his face, you know, and I, and that's a... A police academy dog, or like a police that, dog, or your personal dog you're talking? No, I was like, I was like 14 years old. All right. You know? I thought I was a police officer. No, 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 I was like 14, him. you know, and um, I was jumped, and, but, um, and I'm like, I... I don't want this to ever happen. I, I want people to be able to walk around and enjoy their house and enjoy their property in happiness and in peace, you know? And what's that? I was just gonna come find you, right? Yeah. Okay,
Is nice. that what we're uh, Happy doing? ending here. Yeah, Dog problem. found. No problem. Is that what we should be with? What's that? We'll just call 911. Oh, no. Here's the thing. It's an emergency. It could be an emergency because if the dog goes out to the middle of the road, somebody right. slams on their brakes and a boy is trying to hit the dog and hits another car, now you have a... Or you get a fucking dog. ass and break. I thought that was a very long lease for the dog. Wow. No, it was a nice little interaction here. I'd like to shake your hand. Yeah, and... absolutely. Absolutely. Thank so, you. Tommy LaBelle. Tommy LaBelle? Yeah. Was that badge number? 16. One 16? Six. One six? Yep. All right, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Uh, I tell you, I can give you our number. If you ever want to do the ride along, just call and we can set it up for you. It's up to you. Like, yeah, I mean, I, I might number. be interested in that as long as I can record. Honestly, well, from inside the car? I know you can record on the outside. I don't know if you can record from inside the car or not. Unless it's a police device. I don't know. I don't know either. I really don't know the answer to that question. I could call our... I, I, could call I our suppose police. if I call that number, I can ask. Yeah, well... So... Let's see. Ah. Um... I might have to run that one by our, our attorney. You know, it's probably online, actually. You can probably just Google the answer to the question. All right, so here's my name. Here's my badge number. This is the number to call. Yep. Just say you talk to me. You know, got it? And, uh, yeah, if we can ever help you out, and look, man, whatever... People get, people get kind of weird when they see people recording the police. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. I, I love I love it when people record me because it, there's a there's a there's a barrier, you know. There's a barrier between society and the police. And if it takes something like this to break down that barrier and, and to help engage communication and help engage in, 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 in better relationships, then I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Goes to show you ain't hiding nothing, and uh, What's that? it goes to show some clarity that you're not hiding anything. You and hide. you know what I mean. And then the, on top of it, it's a First Amendment protected activity, video recording in public. So I appreciate uh, having good interactions with police officers myself. I, I love great interactions versus you know yeah, well, some some police wanna... interactions get uh, pretty pretty crazy when you yeah. pull out the camera. Well, what, why would anybody want a negative interaction with anything? You know what I mean? Even cops. It's like, because then, because you and I had a negative interaction, one, it'd be illegal. Um, now, I legitimately thought you were videotaping Crosby's. I really did. Um, you said you weren't, so that stops there. Which means that, you notice I didn't ask you your name? Yeah, of course. Right? I didn't ask you for your ID? Of course not. Right? Um, now, during the course of this conversation, 
if you wanted to offer it to me, then that's that's on you. But if not, you know, it is what it is. But uh, I'm gonna hit back the road. I'm um, I'm done in a half an hour. Sounds good. What's that? Thank you. Oh, all right. Well, hey, it was nice meeting you. Yeah, maybe we'll get to do that right along. We'll find yeah, out. We'll go have coffee or something. All right. Okay, have a nice night. You too. Well, you're a county fam, that's Corfu, New York. <laughs>